So guys, let me show you how to use Accounting Made Easy. Very comprehensive app. Um, contains everything that you would need to know in an accounting course. Uh, menu 1 shows you all the definitions and the terms of accounting, very helpful. So those are just reading sections. And number 2 then, second um, option here in the menu, you can actually do all the pro popular or prominent accounting uh, computations. Say you want to do the gross margin, you're going to leave the gross margin empty, put in net sales, and the cost of goods sold and you get the gross gross margin of course if you knew the gross margin you plug that in and want to figure out net sales you're going to leave that empty and immediately you get the net sales answer so pretty straightforward easy to use let's continue time value is of course a big topic if you want to figure simple interest future value present value um, compounded interest, annuities, can all internal rate of rev of return and also net present value can be done here all step by step. Let me show you one quick example. Uh, future value, same as before, see you want to figure out the future value, you fill in all the other boxes, get your future value here with your formula, Compute it correctly to four decimals. If you know the future value, you leave and want to figure the present value, you get the present value. If you know the present value and want to figure time, leave the time blank. Get the time even more accurate than four decimals. Rate, leave the rate blank. Works like a charm, easy to use, no problem at all. What else we got? Ratios. All common popular ratios here, PE ratio, current ratio, can be done same way as I just showed you uh, the other example. So it's very comprehensive, cost of capital, build up method, Gordon growth mes mo model, build up method, after tax, capital budgeting, tax effect, straight line depreciation, why don't we try that one? Okay, say the cost is not 20 but 200, salvage 6, life 3, and the depreciation is in 64.66. So if we modify our numbers, we can immediately see how the depreciation changes. So that's a great tool to model uh, numbers, experiment with numbers. Financial forecasting, we have retention, ratio, growth rate, uh, for rates we have the effective interest rate, the real interest rate, inflation rate and present value of a perpetuity. Loans and bonds, we have a loan solver, you, there's a reading section about bonds, approximate the yield to maturity. Loan solver, let's try our loan solver. Say you want to have a loan for 5000 and over, let's say, four years, and you want to pay $100. That's too much. Okay, so let's say we do payments of 10. Those numbers were just too much. Um, interest rate is 7%. Then the loan would be $33 if we only make 10 payments at 7%. If we can make 100 payments, our loan amount would be $333. And so forth and so forth. So this is very powerful. Stocks, equity, You again, uh, we can um, read about stocks and equity figure the value of preferred stock, Gordon growth model, economic uh, popular economical uh, computations, marginal profit, marginal revenue, break even point, okay, Gini coefficient, Cup Douglas, so this is really complete 
here differentials this is a more, th more mathematical aspect differential equations simplex algorithm price index you name it uh, business finance so you can even do a moving average here if you put in your original data and say you want to have a ma moving average of two a uh, time period of two or of time of three and then you get all your moving averages here of course if you want decimal numbers just make um, okay you just have to scroll up and then you can see the moving averages right here okay if you want to have decimal answers like you can see here your input numbers have to be decimals you see how the fractions turn into decimals right away only by me changing the input to decimals if I like fractions I enter whole numbers or fractions okay coming to a conclusion um, so that was business finance we can also deal with portfolios and portfolio risk and returns and lastly regression and forecasting which allows you to find regression equations based on given data so this accounting app is very complete it contains everything that you need to know in an accounting course this app and many more apps available at tiinspireapps.com thanks for watching